Henry Fonda, the legendary actor in world cinema. Henry James Fonda was born on May 16, 1905 in Grand Island, Nebraska to printer William Brace Fonda and his wife Roberta Janes. In 1906 the family moved to Omaha, Nebraska. Fonda's patriline originates with an ancestor from Genoa, Italy, who migrated to the Netherlands in the 15th century. In 1642, a branch of the Fonda family immigrated to the Dutch colony of New Netherland on the east coast of North America. They were among the first Dutch to settle in what is now upstate New York, founding the town of Fonda, New York. By 1888 many of their descendants had moved to Nebraska. Although baptized an Episcopalian at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Grand Island, Fonda was raised a Christian scientist. They were a close family and very supportive, especially when it came to health, they avoided doctors because of religion. Despite his religious background, he later became an agnostic. A shy, short boy who tended to avoid girls except his sisters, Fonda was a good skater, swimmer, and runner. He worked part-time at his father's printing plant and envisioned a possible career as a journalist. After finishing school, he worked in a telephone company. Also enjoyed drawing. Fonda was active in the Boy Scouts of America. When he was 14, he and his father witnessed Will Brown being brutally beaten from a nearby building during the 1919 Omaha race riot. This infuriated the young Fonda, who was conscious of prejudice throughout his life. He once said in an interview about the incident, it was the most terrifying sight I had ever seen. My hands were wet, tears were streaming from my eyes. All I could think about was that young black man dangling at the end of a rope. By his senior year of high school, Fonda had grown to over six feet tall, but was shy. He attended the University of Minnesota or he majored in journalism but did not graduate. While in Minnesota, he was a member of the local fraternity, Chi Delta Chi, which later became the Gamma Delta chapter of Chi Phi on campus. He took a job in a retail credit company. Fonda made his mark early as a Broadway actor and made his Hollywood film debut in 1935. He rose to film stardom with Isabel in 1938, Jesse James in 1939, and young Mr. Lincoln in 1939. In 1940, his portrayal of Tom Sod in The Grapes of Wrath earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Fonda appeared in 106 films, television shows, and shorts during her career. In 1941, he starred opposite Barbara Stanwyck in the screwball comedy classic, The Lady Evil. He starred in two highly regarded westerns, The Oxpaw Incident in 1943, My Darling Clementine in 1946, the latter directed by John Ford, and in Ford's western Fort Apache in 1948. After a seven-year break from films, during which Fonda focused on stage productions and returned in 1955 with the World War II battleboat troop Mr. Roberts. In 1956, at age 51, he played the lead role of 38-year-old Manny Palastrero in Alfred Hitchcock's thriller The Wrong Man. In 1957, he played Juror 8 a holdout juror in Twelve Angry Men. Fonda, who also co-produced the film, won the BAFTA Award for Best Foreign Actor.
Later in his career, Fonda moved on to darker roles, such as the villain in the 1968 epic Once Upon a Time in the West, a box office hit in Europe and now considered one of the greatest westerns of all time. He also played in lighter-hearted fare such as Yours, Mine, and Ours with Lucille Paul, My Name is Nobody with Terence Hill, and prominent military figures such as Colonel in Battle of the Bulge in 1965 and Admiral Nimitz in Midway in 1976. He won the Academy Award for Best Actor at the 54th Academy Awards for his final film role in 1981's In Golden Bond which starred Katherine Hepburn and her daughter Jane Fonda, but he was too ill to attend the ceremony. Fonda was married five times and had three children, one of whom was adopted. His marriage to Margaret Sullivan broke up quickly in 1931 and ended in divorce in 1933. Throughout 1935, Fonda dated actress-slash-singer Shirley Rose, by the end of the year, the year, the couple were widely reported to be engaged, and wedding plans were underway. Despite the reports, the two parties apparently reconciled, and in January 1936 it was reported that Fonda was now seeing actress Virginia Bruce. Later that year, Fonda married Frances Ford Seymour Brokaw, the widow of wealthy businessman George Tuttle Brokaw. Brokaw had a daughter, born in 1931, shortly after Brokaw's marriage. Fonda met his future wife Frances at Denham Studios in England on the set of Wings of the Morning, the first picture in Europe filmed in three-strip Technicolor. They had two children, Jane and Peter, both of whom became successful actors. Jane has won two Academy Awards for Best Actress, and Peter has been nominated for two Oscars, one for Best Actor. In August 1949, Fonda informed Francis that he wanted a divorce so he could remarry. Their 13-year marriage was not a happy one for him. Devastated by Fonda's confession and suffering emotional problems for years, Francis entered the Aston Riggs Mental Hospital in January 1950 for treatment. He committed suicide there on April 14. Before her death, she wrote six notes to various people, but left no final message to her husband. Fonda held a private funeral soon after, attended only by herself and mother-in-law Sophie Seymour. Years later, a psychiatrist who treated Francis at Aston Riggs, Dr. Margaret Gibson described Henry Fonda as a cold, self-absorbed person, a complete narcissist. Later in 1950, Fonda married his mistress, Susan Blanchard. She was the 21-year-old daughter of Australian-born interior designer Dorothy Hammerstein and stepdaughter of Oscar Hammerstein. Together they adopted a daughter, Amy Fishman. They divorced three years later. Blanchard was in awe of Fonda, describing her role in the marriage as a geisha, doing everything she could to please him handling and resolving issues he disagreed with. With. In 1957, Fonda married Italian Baroness after a Franchetti. They divorced in 1961. Soon after, in 1965, Fonda married Shirley Mae Adams and remained with her until her death in 1982. Fonda's relationship with his children has been described as emotionally distant. Fonda hated scenes of emotion in himself or others, which were a constant part of his character. Whenever he feels that his emotional wall is being breached, he will throw tantrums and terrorize his family. In Peter Fonda's autobiography, 
Don't tell dad. He described how he never knew how his father felt about him. He wasn't ready to tell his father he loved him until he was older. When Peter finally asked, "I love you, son." Daughter Jane disapproved of her father's friendship with Republican actors such as John Wayne and James Stewart. Their relationship worsened when Jane Fonda became a left-wing activist. Jane Fonda, especially in her early acting days, was estranged from her father. She met Lee Strasberg in 1958 while visiting her father in Malibu. The Fonda and Strasberg families were neighbors, and she developed a friendship with Strasberg's daughter Susan. Jane Fonda began studying acting with Strasberg and learned the techniques of the method, of which Strasberg was a famous exponent. This was a turning point in her career. As Jane Fonda developed her skills as an actress, she was disappointed by her father's talent, which showed her effortless talent. Fonda was a staunch supporter of the Democratic Party and U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt. He was also an admirer of Roosevelt. In 1960, Fonda appeared in a campaign commercial for presidential candidate John F. Kennedy. The ad focused on Kennedy's naval service during Second World War, particularly the famous PT-109 incident. He supported Lyndon B. Johnson in the 1964 United States presidential election. He was initially a registered Republican, but switched parties. Fonda died of heart disease on August 12, 1982, at his home in Los Angeles. Fonda's wife Shirley, his daughter Jane, and his son Peter were at his side that day. He had prostate cancer, but it was not a direct cause of his death, and was only recorded as the same disease on his death certificate. Fonda requested that no funeral be held, and his body was cremated. President Ronald Reagan, a former actor himself, hailed Fonda as a true professional dedicated to excellence in his craft. He graced the screen with a sincerity and accuracy which made him a legend. The house where Fonda was born in 1905 is preserved at the Stir Museum of Prairie Pioneers in Grand Island, Nebraska. Fonda is widely recognized as one of the Hollywood legends of the classic era. On the centenary of his birth on May 16, 2005. Turner Classic Movies honored Fonda with a marathon of his films. In May 2005, the United States Post Office issued a 37 cent stamp featuring Fonda's portrait as part of their Hollywood Legends series. The Fonda Theater in Hollywood, originally known as the Carter De Haven Music Box, Was named after the actor in 1985 by the Nederlander organization. Fonda is the patriarch of a family of famous actors, including daughter Jane Fonda, son Peter Fonda, granddaughter Bridget Fonda, and grandson Troy Garrity. In 1999, the American Film Institute named him the sixth greatest male screen legend of the classic Hollywood era.